Welcome back to Vex. A really need no to be very done. This is my thing, show a fact. I need you guys not to be too proud. Full of pride to like and subscribe, you big. Ha <laughs> Cause we family, that's why. And I have a surprise. Further news to you. Anyway. A man dead after a girlfriend shot him at an apartment complex in North Harris County, deputies say. That's Houston, Texas. One man is dead after his girlfriend shot him to death. Ooh. North Harris County after allegedly assaulted her. On Thursday at about 5.45 p.m., Harris County Sheriff's Officers definitely responded to a shooting at the park at Harbor Land Apartments located at 505 Cypress Station Drive. Hmm. And turn the suburbs into the ghetto. When deputies arrived on the scene, they located the victim, a Darius Broaden, 26, lying on the front porch of the apartment. Broaden was unresponsible and bleeding from the head, deputies say. Damn, she bust his ass. Ooh. Broaden's 20 year old woman. No, Broaden's 20 year old girlfriend claimed Broaden came to her apartment. Argued with her and physically assaulted her, authority said. The girlfriend locked Broughton out of her apartment and he forced her front door open, shattering the frame. Then she fired one warning shot as they stood in the doorway and continued to argue. She then fired a second shot at Broughton, killing him, authority said. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Barton was pronounced dead at the scene. Investigators interviewed neighbors and reviewed video from the apartment complex. The girlfriend provided investigators with a statement. Anyone with information related to it, okay, we ain't gonna do all that. No, 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 no. No, no, no. We ain't doing all that information shit. No. What we finna do is teach you some guys a lesson. Me. You know where you will be happy at? Stay in your black ass at your mama house. Cause all you dudes know is living with your mama. Cause you come to another woman with that same energy. Like a woman don't feel like you she your son, she, you her son, and vice versa, she don't feel like you her daddy. And I'ma tell you the worst thing you wanna do is get into it with a woman while you live at home with her. Or you're at her home. Let's say vice versa. Maybe he didn't live with her. It seemed like he wanted to. The, the best thing to do is always have your own shit because it's your own shit you could determine the outcome of the narrative my advice to any man especially any man out there that wants some of my life quit living with women quit going to women houses you ain't gonna get shit out of that shit but a bullet in your ass you know what i'm saying leave that shit alone man this is just real facts this is real facts we for now you chilling with real facts commentary we're not doing all this i don't know no, no, all that you know i'm talking proper when i read that shit is over, man. You finna hear the real shit from a gangster. A man that came from there, man, I'm gonna tell you, women will bust your ass. You know what I'm saying? You talking all this shit. I, women know I don't play that shit. You know what I'm saying? I talk shit because I can bag it up. I don't live with no motherfucking woman. I'm not living with no woman. And you not little boy me. You know what I'm saying? Period. Now, when you live with a woman, once you get to that point, you gotta understand, if she little boy you, she little boy you. Ain't shit you can do about it. You know what I'm saying? Ain't happening with me, Captain. You know what I'm saying? Please. You know what I'm saying? Look here, I tell them silly, silly rabbit tricks are for kids. So why you nagging me? You know what I'm saying? Get it? Now, long story short, I hope you guys get this lesson. Lesson, long story short is do not go to nobody's house with the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all men get that shit like pussy ain't that good, bro. It's, mo it's, it's so much pussy. I'm not for, you know, <laughs> I'm not for buying, but if y'all fellas got money, go buy you some pussy. You know what I'm saying? I don't believe in buying no pussy. And I'm going to tell you feel like, fellas like this. I don't judge you if you do, because I was supplying the pussy at a point in time. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to tell you like this. Please, fellas, quit spending your money on women. Spend it on yourself. When you spend your money on yourself, women feel like your self-wealth is, is high of yourself. You think highly of yourself. So when you do that, you attract more women like that, logically. Why do you think women are attracted to the man in the Bugattis? Not because he had Bugattis, because the fact he took time out to say, man, I want to do something for myself. You know what I'm saying? It's not, the, see, they make you think, their mind think, their mind think, and your mind think, oh, they're attracted. They're definitely not attracted. They're going to give a broke nigga some pussy just to fast the nigga in the Bugatti. But the reason they give the nigga in the Bugatti because he took time out on like the broke ass nigga to say, I want something for myself that I could ever look at and say it's mine. You know what I'm saying? And and you can't do nothing about it. You know what I'm That's what attracts, success attracts women. Not no fucking money. You dudes got it backwards. 
You tell a woman you're doing this, doing this, doing this. Watch how she get very interested in what you're doing. Success tracks women, not money. It's the material shit behind success, which is the money that attracts these women, that makes them come off as gold diggers, which eventually turns them into corrupted gold diggers and, and you know, robo thoughts. So with that being said, brothers, stay out them robo thoughts highs because they'll bust your ass.